Good morning, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. Three months old, three months of Oli led government deemed unproductive, issues of public concern and constitution amendment not in priority. Ruling Alliance partners dissatisfied with government performance. Government lacks data on tourists that arrive Nepal and overstay. Many of them found involved in criminal activities. Former One Direction singer Liam Payne dies outside a hotel in the Argentine capital, Buenos Aires, after falling from his third floor hotel room balcony. And SAF Women's Championship begins from today. Pakistan playing against India in the inaugural match, slated for 5.30 p.m. at Dashrat Stadium. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli's government has completed three months. During his appointment on 14 June, CPN UML struck a seven-point agreement with Nepali Congress with agendas like constitution amendment, which the incumbent government has yet to work for. On top of the lack of productivity, the Premier has courted controversy by accepting land from a business person to build his party office. CPN UML Chair and Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli had put forth the agenda of constitution amendment while joining hands with Nepali Congress to form the current government. Three months since reaching at the top executive post, no discussions have been held for the same. Even the ruling alliance partners have yet to hold discussions for constitution amendment, let alone pacify voices among the opposition parties against the amendment. The seven-point agreement also includes agenda of making his government an all-party government, but the Premier has yet to take efforts to bring parties to his confidence. The tale is similar in provincial levels. The ruling alliance, in a bid to have a satisfactory equation, have even split ministries for appointment purposes. Susasan ko pratyabhati garna yek, samriddhi ko yatra lai agadi bada unne dui, vikas ka purvadar haru lai yatha samaya ma agadi bada unne tin, rajasu sankalan lai tibrata dine char, baideshik sahayog lai batul ne paanch, र गुमे को नेपाली समाज को विश्वास र युवा तंदरी एरु को भरोसा लाई पुनर्स्थापित करने काम में और ये को सरकार लागे कुछ। The other agenda in the agreement between CPN UMO and Nepali Congress is to solidify the economic environment. However, experts say not much has changed in the past three months. Investors are still hesitant despite adequate liquidity in banks. And opposition parties call the three months as wasted. Yeti chulo cheti hona apni samanya paramji wo America gumero pasno ho. Total brahman chotiya ra hono parthiyo. Total mantri pasno boicho bola hono parthi. Kine ki amro kosto samanya bipad bhastapan samanya ko kine adhesh hai chhe. Samanya paramji hone chalan chhe. One hobby kine bipad bhastapan samanya boicho pasha na. Tis pachi rahat udhar puna sthapana prakriya ma chhe. Sarkar ko tarpal lin pari paul kadam bhi lin sakke na. Wata aaram li swayar garra chhe. Dher din pachi. ग आप सत्ता स्वार्थ के लायक मतलब हमने जिसे निर्माण करें तेरे काम को दर्ज करने चंद बनियों काम तो हमने समर्थन वालों को पढ़ते हो काम तो हमने नीति में वालों को पढ़ते हो नीति में वालों की समर्थन में वालों की राजनीतिक पार्टी हरों से मिले रहते हैं इसमें वालों से त्याग दे रहे हैं अन्न दिने एकाए Prime Minister Oli also received major flak for failing to activate the state mechanisms when rain-induced disasters wreaked havoc across the country while he was in New York for UN General Assembly. Even leaders from the ruling alliance partner Nepali Congress itself say the Premier was not able to perform as expected. The U.S. government has been able to do this. The people have 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 been able to do this. है ना तो रात जून किसी में देख लूँ पढ़ने हो यो तीन महीना में आज आमले संविधान समझौतन को करा तो अगर नहीं बढ़ाए कैसे नो जून पार्ट में आमी मेजर एक नंबर को पार्ट होते हैं मत आमी और उधर अगर नहीं बढ़ाए कैसे नो तो कन ये ले अपनो जून सात बुद्धि सौ बुद्धि करे जून ये उटा आकार लीनू पढ़ने 
The current government has yet to collect details of the damages caused by recent disasters, let alone announce a long-term plan for the rehabilitation of victims of disasters. The government has also failed to bring in as much support from the international community. Meanwhile, the uncertainty surrounding the Premier's India visit has been taken as the government's inability to improve ties with the southern neighbour. The Premier also landed his latest controversy by accepting almost 11 Robani land from business person Min Bahadur Gurung to build his party office. The bodies of five Russian climbers who lost their lives during Dholagiri First expedition was airlifted to the capital. A team including operator of Seven Summit, Mingma Sherpa, experienced summiters and rescuers had collected the bodies and brought them to the base camp using ropes after helicopter rescue was ruled out due to slope and difficult terrain. Rescuers had reached the spot where the bodies were after two days from Camp 2 and collected the bodies to successfully bring them to base camp. According to Superintendent of Police of District Police Myagdi Bharat Shrestha, an air altitude helicopter brought the bodies to the capital and was taken to TU Teaching Hospital. The five climbers had gone out of contact from 11 p.m. on 6th of October. The deceased climbers were identified as Alexander Dushenko, Oleg Kruglov, Vladimir Kristikov, Mikhail Nosenko and Dmitry Shipilevoy. Expedition guides have opined that the five could have felt tired 167 meters to the Dholagiri top or their ropes could have gone loose, resulting in the five of them falling. The 14 Russian climbers had divided themselves into two groups of eight and six for the expedition. Denish Alexonko and Artisom Tessens Seviliski had successfully summited Dholagiri first. The bodies were recovered from an altitude of 7,600 meters. Nepal Army aircraft is to be used to rescue tourists who have been stranded in Ramachap's monthly as flights are unable to operate due to bad weather, according to Minister for Defense Manbir Rai. Over 1,200 tourists have been stranded in Manthali since three days and will be rescued in Nepal Army aircraft to take them to Lukla Airport. The Trekking Agency Association Nepal, TAN, has issued a circular to tourism businesses to provide details of all those stranded. General Secretary of the Association, Sonam Gyalsen Sherpa, urged trekking companies to provide the detail at the earliest to facilitate a rescue operation. The 16-seater Nepal Army aircraft will run six flights per day for the rescue. Meanwhile, in Lukla, around 300 tourists are waiting for their flights. Bad weather has reduced the number of visitors to Sagarmatha region. On Tuesday, 198 visitors entered the region. Hundreds of foreign nationals arrived Nepal on visit visa but never return while the government lacks proper data on such overstayers and their whereabouts. Many of them have on several occasions been found involved in criminal activities, majority of them being Chinese nationals or those of Chinese origin who have been found operating call centers in Nepal where cyber crimes are committed. Five years ago, the Nepal police raided several places in the capital and arrested 122 individuals of Chinese origin. These groups were found renting out buildings and running online gambling and scamming. Most of them had escaped actions for similar crimes from Cambodia and Vietnam. Nepal had deported all 122 of them back then. However, cyber crimes have continued in the country. Some time back, a call center was discovered in Kathmandu, Sinamangal and Rupandehi's Butwal that had employed 150 Nepali youth. The police had brought to jurisdiction an organized criminal group who ran an office in Sinamangal with over 300 computers to host online gambling. At present, it has been revealed that Chinese groups have been running crypto businesses from Nepal. Last week, the Central Investigation Bureau of Nepal Police, CIB, had taken action against Chinese and Filipino women who were operating a call center in Lalitpur's Ekantakuna with 50 Nepali youth employed. Apart from cryptocurrency business, the call center was also found conducting extortions, contacting people from the third country through dating apps and demanding for money. CIB's investigation revealed that the money earned from there was sent to third country in forms of crypto.
The group is understood to have escaped actions from Dubai and established themselves in Kathmandu. An additional investigation is underway on crypto transactions worth 75,000 USD. Dubai ma gara kam gare ra aiga IT ma ali zani manche oru Nepali oru. Ti bhakti oru tya bosi ra tya bara bani kya gare vanda gari tya bani inali ali illegal activities oru gare karanle tya bara deport bara agoras. Deport bara aise bichi inali ya gyadri gyadar bhai. रोज़ ग्यारह बजे जब से इन्हरले कॉल सेंटर स्थापना करी जहाँ जहाँ अब यो किप्टो कारोबार करनी ये उड़ा बो और ये अमले किप्टो में जाए जाए लेकर सों तो अनुसंधान ले और कुछ क्यों देखा हो जब बंदा करी यो जाए स्कैमिंग पनी चाहिए इसमें the scenario also highlights on how Nepali youth are being manipulated into participating in cyber crimes the CIB has filed cases of crypto transactions worth 200 billion in just one year विशेष करी का ना फाइनेंशियल पशी साइबर क्राइम और तीति होता है वो तो इसको तो अब साइबर थ्रेट का कुरा फाइनेंशियल थ्रेट का कुरा अब वो हैकिंग का कुरा ये तो होनी नहीं भाई तीस तरफ बने आमी ये नहीं करी अरे लाएगा सो यू ट्रेंड्स हैं अरे इस तो देखिए ऐसा ना इसमें बिजनेस करी का ना आईटी जाननी आईटी को ज्ञान there is a call on concerned authority to remain vigilant on overstaying foreigners that have been operating cyber crimes as these organized crimes are putting Nepali youth at risk and also the country's economy. In our public voice segment, we had asked what improvements are necessary in the service and security provided by the Nepal police. Let's take a look at what they had to say. तल्लो ताको मानिस को अपनी व्यापार व्यवसाय लाई अगर ये बढ़ने करी वहाँ ले शांति सुरक्षा दिन शक्नु पड़े उस रे पुलिस के पास उन्हें निरंतर एकदम ही छिटो बंदा छिटो कार्रवाई करो ना कौशल तो समस्या को समाधान करना सकें तो बने लागनु पड़े महिला ले जाने से बास पर आख दहेज़ अली के दिमाग से संतुलन ठीक बाको महिला ले कुने कुने ची वेरीफाई करे रा� निष्पक्ष ढंग बड़ा छानबीन होना पर्यटन कस को दबाव में नपरिकन चाहे एकदम स्वतंत्र भर चाहे काम कर स्वच्छ सेवक होता गलत काम काम करना सामान हो पड़े हो निष्पक्ष रूप में जनता राशि वादी नहीं पड़ता जनता लाये आवश्यक पड़े को ठाउं में तत्काल ही पुगने व्यवस्था चाहिए उन्हें पड़ता जनता वाहन को कदर करते काम करने पड़े हो जनता पुलिस देख रही थी डर उन्हें ना उस जनता लाये ना पैद पैद करने भाई ना और जनता ले आपन सोहाज रूप में सुन्नु पर्चा र पहुँच सजीलो बनाऊँ नु पर्चा जनता ले प्रवारी के वगैरह गोयर निर्दक का शिता आपने समझे रखने सकनी होने पर्चा Time now for our segment Public Pulse where you text us with your opinion Public Pulse Here's the question Why has demand for loans not increased despite liquidity of 700 billion your options are A, no environment for investment, B, unstable interest rate, and C, result of instability. Voting is on. Type any WS, select your option, A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Time now for international update. Former One Direction singer Liam Payne died outside a hotel in the Argentine capital, Buenos Aires. Local police said the 31-year-old British musician was found dead after falling from his third-floor hotel room balcony. Emergency workers confirmed the death of the singer who was reportedly found in the hotel's interior patio. Payne rose to global fame as part of the since disbanded Pop band One Direction, alongside Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, Neil Horan and Louis Tom Linson. The boy band got its start after finishing third on the British version of the X Factor music competition show in 2010. But the group broke up in 2016 as its members pursued different projects including solo careers. Payne had earlier this month attended the concert of his former bandmate Neil Horan in Buenos Aires. Payne has been open in the media about struggling with addiction and spending time in a rehabilitation facility. 
Earlier on Wednesday, Payne had appeared to post on Snapchat about his trip in Argentina, talking about riding horses, playing polo and looking forward to returning home to see his dog. The seventh edition of SAF Women's Championship kicks off from today in Kathmandu. The inaugural match at 5.30 p.m. in Dashrath Stadium will see a clash between top contenders, India and Pakistan. While India is five times champion, Pakistan has not been able to reach the final of the tournament even once so far. In the pre-match conference, Indian team coach Santosh Kashyap said, regardless of the history of the championship, Today's match against Pakistan will be a fresh one. India's captain, Asha Lata Devi, who will be playing her 100th game for Indian national team, has said the match will be a special one. Today's inaugural match will be third time for India and Pakistan playing against each other, other in SAF Women's Championship. Prior to this, India had thrashed Pakistan 8-0 in the semi-final of the championship in 2014. In the previous edition, India had defeated Pakistan 3-0 in the group stage. Pakistan had not participated in the 2016 and 2019 edition. Pakistan captain Maria Khan and coach Adele Rizki have expressed excitement over kicking off their campaign this time with a strong contender like India. Seven teams are participating in the tournament. Group A has Pakistan, India, defending champions Bangladesh, while Group B has host Nepal, Sri Lanka, Maldives and Bhutan. This is the third consecutive year for Nepal organizing the championship, with the 2019 edition being played in Biratnagar and 2022 ed edition in Dashrath Stadium itself. Host Nepal will play its first match on Friday against Bhutan. In the first fixture of Friday, Sri Lanka will face Maldives at 1.30 p.m. Before wrapping up, here's a look at the top stories once again. Three months of Oli-led government deemed unproductive. Issues of public concern and constitution amendment not in priority. Ruling Alliance partners dissatisfied with the government performance. Government lacks data on tourists that arrive in Nepal and overstay, many of them found involved in criminal activities. Former One Direction singer Liam Payne dies outside a hotel in the Argentine capital, Buenos Aires, after falling from his third floor hotel room balcony. And SAF Women's Championship begins from today. Pakistan playing against India in the inaugural match, slated for 5.30 p.m. at Dashrath Stadium. That is all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.